Hey Collective, happy Friday. Vita back with another message. Take what resonates, kick rocks to the rest. I'm doing some pre-shuffling here. This card just came out. He is a fallen angel. Can't you see it? So this is again that shadow self energy, shadow being energy that is coming through these readings. I feel like this is from the eclipse. A lot of people are feeling rather heavy maybe even a little despondent. Um, we also have, you are a creative force. Your, pow your pen speaks when you write. You could be a powerful writer. Um, maybe this is something that you have been thinking about doing. Maybe you've written a lot of books, but you haven't published anything. You could be seeing the signs that it's time to get your work out there into the uh, public spectrum. The word spectrum has been coming up a lot for me too. So something about the colors, the vibration, higher consciousness, coming into your full self, seeing people truly for who they are. Masks are being ripped off. They're not just falling off. They're being ripped off. Here we have you deserve peace. Your peace is very important. You could be experiencing what feel like a lot of disruptions, a little annoyances here and there, something like that. I need to love you. Let me love you. I know how now. This love could be coming from this fallen angel energy, fallen star energy. Let's get the, um, actually, I don't want to get the Kipper. I think I want one more of these cards. Uh, he wants to start over with you sincerely is at the bottom. I'm going to put it back and let's get one more. There's someone that wants you to let them in, male or female. Take it how it resonates, if at all. Um, they, they want you to know that they're ready. Oh, seriously? You think I don't own you, but I do? So... He wants to start over with you sincerely. So this could be two people, three people. Maybe you have two exes in the background, one from a recent stage in your life, one that goes way back. There's the energy of starting over. Maybe you started something over when it has to do with just how you're living your life. You just want your peace. You know what you deserve. You know no one owns you. I don't know. <laughs> This card, when it comes out, it really just gets people in a pickle. I understand. This is green. So this is green with envy. This is green heart chakra energy. I say this is green, but it's more like turquoise. He wants to start over with you. Someone's sincere. Someone's pretending to be sincere. You find your treasures in the darkness. I feel like this fallen angel sees you as a treasure. Uh, they think about you a lot in the in the dark, in the night, something about under the cover of the night. You deserve peace. Maybe you've endured a lot. You're not open to a new relationship. You're not open to starting over with someone. The Rainbow Reviver, you deserve peace. I mean, like, seriously, self-respect is at the bottom of the deck. You know your worth. You're not allowing anyone to disrespect you, disrupt what you got going on, what you worked so hard for. You know what you deserve. Someone sees you as a healer, a rainbow soul. You have a new tribe coming in. Helium balloon, something about helium rising up, right? Consciousness rising up, walking up, moving up this ladder this etheric ladder, the kingdom. Yesterday, the United Kingdom came out that card and I just, I feel like that's this energy right here, united. So here we have intimacy. So there, you could be craving intimacy. You really could. And maybe you don't have options that you're interested in. There are options, but you don't want to open yourself up to any sort of intimate relationship with a false person, a fallen person. People are being humi humiliated, publicly humiliated, because 
They just can't get it right. They, they're they arrogant. They think they own like the rights to things that don't belong to them. Something about the rights, your rights. Someone wants to violate your rights. He's a fallen angel. Can't you see it? Someone, maybe this is you trying to tell someone else that you're close to. Like, can't you see what's wrong with this person? They're not right. Something's not right about somebody or many people resolving conflict. So this person, this fallen angel wants to resolve this conflict with you. You see, you've got this masculine here that's kind of like, they're in the dark. It's just they're, they're, they're tired and you're trying to revive or someone's trying to revive this person, but they're not listening. It's not for anyone else to lift someone else up that's not ready to do the work themselves. But someone does want to resolve a conflict with you. Spiritual maturity. I don't feel like this person, whoever this is, has reached this spiritual maturity. Or maybe they have. It kind of can go either way. Let's just keep going and see what other clarifiers we get. You think I don't own you, but I do. Someone could have been very possessive of you, maybe even abusive. You walked away because you know your worth. Compatibility. There's someone that you're compatible with. Someone sees you as being the only person that they're compatible with. Maybe you accepted all of this energy's darkness. You were fine with it, but they crossed a line. Someone loves you tremendously. You are loving yourself. There is a deep connection here with love and connection. You think I don't own you, but I do. Uh-oh. We have the silver waterfall and yin and yang. So this is, it feels like a twin connection. Forgiveness. Someone wants your, this, this energy wants your forgiveness. But maybe it's more than about forgiveness for you. Maybe it's got nothing to do with forgiveness. Someone sees you as very abundant. Serendipity. You're peaceful. Compatibility. There is an energy that is uh, very compatible with your energy. I'm not sure if you're in contact with this person or not. Let's get some more cards. Silver waterfall. Letting love flow through transformation balancing out the yin the, the yang becoming whole yourself masculine feminine energy the rainbow reviver so we've got rainbows here and rainbows here so something about rainbows and water silver you could have a silver aura you could live where there's a lot of these red birds. I don't know what kind of birds these are. There's some sort of clearing, soul clearing that's happening for you. You might uh, take lots, lots of uh, nature walks around large body of water. Water is soothing. Someone could be a water sign. Masculine, feminine energies solar and the moon rainbow reviver you deserve peace someone feels they can't have peace until they have you back in their life they want to start over with you sincerely uh-oh bad health expectation sudden wealth so someone's in bad health this person that's very focused on you or this, like I said, more than one person is focused on you. Someone's in bad health. They feel that you are their last chance at survival. They could be in a poor spiritual health. They could be in poor financial health. Resolving conflict. This person could be sick and they feel like they have to come toward you. They have to make amends. Someone wants to make amends with you. 
They want you to know that they've always loved you, that they were always sincere when it came to the love that they had for you. They just couldn't get something right, resolving conflict. There's a fallen angel that wants to resolve conflict. There's marriage here, and it's sideways, and then there's imprisonment. This person, this energy came through yesterday, so this fallen angel could be married. This could be their marriage. Someone wants to, the feminine, it looks like, wants to resolve this conflict in a marriage with this fallen angel. Someone could be facing prison or this energy here could be in bad health because they feel stuck in something that they should have never have bound themselves to. The silver waterfall. Marriage is a number three. Bad health is 31. So the number 313 could be significant. Silver waterfall. Someone could live by a waterfall. Mature woman. Wealthy man is followed by courthouse and distant horizon. So there is the uh, energy of abundance that's coming toward you. You could already be very abundant. Someone sees you as abundant. You could be connected to a very wealthy energy. You could have a lot of wealth yourself. You could be this mature woman. This could be an ancestor. There could be a mature woman that thinks that they own you. This could be a mother figure. Or this could be an external energy to you that thinks they own you. You're this mature being change someone is promising that they will make the necessary changes someone is promising that this time around they're not going to disrupt your peace yin and yang oh landed right on top sudden wealth distant horizon so you could be emitting the frequency of monetary wealth someone is picking up on the frequency that you're emitting when it comes to the money that's coming toward you it's a gift from god distant horizon courthouse it could come in the form of some sort of judgment from a wealthy man unexpected income there's some money coming there's something something grand is is on the horizon for you so if you've been feeling frustrated it could be this external energy this this fallen angel that is pulling on you pulling because they're in bad health you're you're their last hope at reviving their engine something about their engine huh Let's get the tarot. This is interesting energy. There's always so many layers. There's a lot of layers here. There's something that you're not seeing or I'm not seeing. Let's see what, 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 what revival. Someone's stuttering. What is this? You know, these cards, a couple of them aren't cut like, okay, never mind. Some of these cards aren't cut the same. We got King of Swords, Rainbow Reviver. I feel like this King of Swords is in bad health. They're seeing that they deserve peace. They're seeing that you were the one that could have given them the life that they wanted. They just didn't know how to come about getting it. Hierophant. There's a king of swords that's in a marriage that is very stressful, very confining. This energy feels very confined. They want to confess this to you. They want to tell you that they made a mistake. The devil, they're stuck. Hierophant, nine of cups. What is their wish? What's behind this nine of cups? King of wands. They want to take action. They want to regain their strength. Eight of Pentacles. They could have lost their job. This King of Swords could have lost their job. 
They could have had a stellar reputation. Their reputation's been ruined. It could have to do with this marriage, who they married. Whoa. Let's get a card for resolving conflict. There's a marriage on the rocks. There's a contract that's been broken. Oh, goodness. Look at this. Knight of Swords is at the bottom. Here we've got the Tower in the upright, the Eight of Wands in the upright, resolving conflict. And then face down, we have this Knight of Pentacles. So whatever this is, that's been a very slow process. This person who wants to resolve this conflict with you hasn't given up. They know it's probably a lost cause, but they haven't given up. They want to come toward you quickly. They do think that you are responsible some kind of way for this tower that's happening. There's a tower. So there's some sort of slow crumble, but it's fast. Three of Swords, Heartbreak, Two of Pentacles, this internal struggle, this Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Four of Wands, Five of Cups. So this is a lot of regret when it comes to this fallen angel energy that feels that you should have been their, their uh, marital partner. This person could still want to marry you. This could be about them not being married or having gotten out of a marriage. And now they want to jump back into a marriage with you because they think that by marrying you, they'll come out of this bad health. You gave this person a lot of peace. Your energy is very peaceful. Your energy is very peaceful. Forgiveness. They really do want your forgiveness. They want to share your abundance. Serendipity, compatibility, they think you're the only one for them. Spiritual maturity, they know how spiritually mature you are. Divine masculine, behind spiritual maturity. Sexual freedom, creativity. Well, that can go all maturity. Okay, well, this is very interesting. So you could have a divine masculine energy that's separate from this fallen angel energy, or this could be the same person. They committed themselves to, uh, I don't know what the hell this, this energy had on their mind. They don't see things like practice person isn't practical in, uh, I think they just, this fallen angel energy just came down on this planet and is just looked around and it's like, oh my God, I want to just gobble up everything. But they were pulled to you the whole time. But for whatever reason, it wasn't enough. Something wasn't enough for this person. And now they've had enough. They've created so much drama in their life by having these uh, entanglements, the sexual freedom that turned out to be not so free, more constricting, if anything. It could be the reason they're in bad health. Ooh, mature woman. So this is about a divine masculine energy. Or maybe this fallen angel is realizing that they have this divine masculine energy, but they've lost it. Two of Pentacles clarifying mature woman maybe you've gotten word or through a dream even that this person that you once identified as your soulmate your twin flame your mirror soul however it might resonate with you is ill and you're struggling like what do I do so that could be a very specific message for someone you are trying to figure out should you or should you not open the door for whoever this is that's knocking or is coming to knock on your door. Nine of Cups. They're very, they're wishful. Someone's wishful for you. You have it all. You could have had it all with this person. Something about having it all. Huh. Sudden Wealth is a number 11. Ugh. Four of Swords, and it's sideways. So this this is uh, some finances. 
Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. This is a past energy. Could be a family member. Queen of Swords could be a sister, could be an aunt, an ex-wife. Queen of Swords can sometimes be the Widow card. Here we've got Two of Swords and then this Ten of Cups, followed by Seven of Swords. So this could be, if you're a DF energy, this could be a Karmic Femme energy trying to... Uh, railroad you something about railroad you could live by a railroad hmm someone's being very sneaky king of swords people from your past coming back around they want to tell you that you were right all along they should have listened someone wished that they would have listened to you and they wouldn't be in this bad health. So you could be very clairvoyant and you warn someone that if they didn't get their act together, they weren't going to be around much longer. King of Swords. Someone feels that they're not going to be around much longer, so they need to make amends with you. They don't want to repeat this cycle ever again. Page of Pentagrams is clarifying this King of Swords. Knight of Goblets, so some small offer, some peace offering. There's a King of Swords that could be in bad health that wants to come toward you with a small peace offer, offering. Okay, and they're very conflicted about how to do this. They don't have the words. They don't have the words. Why is Tower here? This conflict that they have with you or that they feel in their mind that they have with you has has created a, a toll a physical toll justice here clarifying tower queen of blades so there could be oh king of bones judgment so this definite oh we oh she's all right well look at this queen of blades king of bones Judgment, Six of Cups, Two of Cups, and the Five of Bones. So this could be a number of things here, but this feels like this is some sort of justice, judicial thing. This could be a uh, married couple that both work in the justice system, in the court system. They're under severe judgment could have to do with the marriage. This could be two attorneys that are married. This could be, yeah, I'm, I, this is attorneys. These are attorneys. This isn't for everybody. If they're not attorneys, they've got some, someone maybe might've been disbarred even. Severe judgment. This could be this married couple, twisted. This could be a very twisted married couple, King of Bones and this Queen of Blades. Or someone is seeing you as this Queen of Blades or this King of Bones energy who has uh, casted this harsh judgment upon them. This could be someone from your past. It could be a family member. You might have had some really good times with this person or even if it, this is a group dynamic, there is a married couple here. There's a married couple here. They're very karmic. Low on the pole. Someone likes to go low on the pole. And I don't know what that means. I'm seeing a stripper pole. So someone's got a thing, a penchant for strippers. They spend a lot of money on strippers. <sighs> Seriously. Oh my God. Knight of Pentacles. Someone could be an ex stripper. Someone could want to strip again because they're out of money, but they're too old. The Emperor, sideways. What other card just came out? Okay, wait a minute. Page of Pentagrams was already out. So this Emperor came out sideways. These three cards went over here, landed on this Page of Pentagrams, the Death card, the Ace of Pentacles and temperance 
So whoever this King of Swords is that you kicked to the curb, they want to start over with you partly because they see you as stable, balanced, peaceful, and they need some money. And they are convinced that you have big money coming toward you. This person could be watching you, watching you build something, rebuild something. Yes, the hermit, this, oh God, <laughs> what in the heck? So if you have a public platform and you're visible, this person is in the background watching you and they're like, they got their calculator out in their bed. Like this person made this much money last week. They're making this much money. Somebody's counting your money. They know how much money you're making or they think they do. But if you are connected to this person, if there's a cord, a silver cord, silver waterfall, it could be a cord that can't be cut because this is the lesson that both of you need to learn or play or however this simulation, if that's how you define it, is, is working out. And so this person really does believe that they are entitled. They're entitled to this ace of pentagrams that is coming to you as a gift from the Lord to balance out whatever situations you've been working on by yourself, separate from this person, because they feel that they do own you. That you are the yin to their yang or the yang to their yin. However... Uh, three of cups. Good Lord. Nine of bones. So also what this could be is this person could have stepped out on you. You know it. They know it. But they want to come back and tell you that no, no, that's not how this went down. We were never really together. We were just friends. Don't you remember that's very specific how they want to come to you. They want to try to like, uh, this is silly. This person needs to sit down. So we've got an emperor sideways, someone that's not feeling too powerful. This marriage or whatever this is has just drained them dry. Whatever resources they've had, they don't feel like they've had, they have them. They, they see that you are, you're the one. You're the one that can get them out of this, whatever this is. And they think that they still have the power, the authority, the charisma, the charm to talk you back down or back in. Something about down, like tree. I'm seeing a tree and you're like in a tree. Someone's in a tree. And this person is trying to talk them back down. You've grown your tree. You planted your seeds. Your, tea, your tree has grown green tea. Someone could be drinking green tea. Your, tea. your tree has grown very large. It's beautiful. It's abundant. It's full of greenery. And you're continuing to climb up that tree. And this person is down at the bottom looking up at you like you got to come back down. Two of Pentacles. I can see this so clear. It's getting on my nerves. Okay. What is this? Eight of Pentagrams. Clarifying this two of two of Pentacles, which is the ten to ten Pentacles together for bones. So this is about foundation, a solid foundation building. This person wants what you built. Maybe at one point you asked for this person's help against like your better judgment something about your judgment at one point was very skewed when it came to this person and you really thought that they had your back and or maybe this person did help you out slightly in a situation and and they want to remind you of that i helped you don't you remember don't you remember ace of blades this is their truth the devil this is this fallen angel right here this dude 
Nephilim. Yep, that card came out twice yesterday. You are dealing with a fallen angel. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Not funny. Four swords, sideways, clarifying this sudden wealth card. Wow. Major shit, man. Okay, now we got this nine of pentacles, sideways. Page of bones, message, the star. That's you. The tower, that's you. King of blades. King of swords is already here with the bad health. Two of swords. Two of pentacles is here over this mature woman. So... This energy, this king of swords does not want you to be single, independent anymore. They feel that you've punished them enough. It's time to come into a, come together as a creative force. This person could be very creative. They could want to collaborate with you. Page of Bones, there's a message, some sort of message. King of Swords, schedule, didn't come all the way out, something about your schedule, they know your schedule, King of Swords, okay, inducement, it landed on Emperor sideways, so there's an Emperor energy that has taken a bribe or is trying to take a bribe trying to come back to you. They want to create with you. They want to start over with you. They see how uh, blessed you are, how abundant you are. Your energy, it, your energy is healing. You're a healer. You revived yourself from a situation. You could have been ill and you healed yourself. Someone healed themselves. You gave yourself peace. You, you accepted the gift of peace. By letting something go, someone go, many people go, you continue to do that. You continue to clear your space. There's an emperor energy going through a tower. They've taken a bribe. Someone wants to bribe you. This is about some bribes, alliance, hesitation. So someone is certainly um, trying to come toward you with some sort of something this could even be a setup. Or maybe this emperor was set up. Maybe they didn't take the bribe. It has to do with a marriage. King of Swords. Friendship. This King of Swords was a friend of yours. Compromise. They want you to compromise. They want you to compromise your peace for them. They want to tell you, remember, remember, we were friends. I need your help. This person needs your help. Compromise, merit making, apology. They want to apologize. They talk bad about you. They could have tried to ruin your business, ruin your money. They did some sneaky stuff. And they're paying for it. And they know that. And they know, they believe that you're the only one that can get them out of this Marriage. Mask. Wow. Mask. Marriage. Fright. Someone's married to someone who could be an abuser. Someone that presents themselves one way in the public and then behind doors they just turn into a, a creature. Fright. Right. Wow. Marriage hesitation someone this fallen angel who continues to wear a mask is trying to spell bound you into a marriage <sighs> you could have been married to this person in another life and you fled the scene you fled to another dimension to get away from this energy you like you like I didn't sign up for this <laughs> hesitation alliance illness vow marinette someone's a puppet someone's in their head way too much but they're blind they don't see something 
sweetheart is in the reverse. Someone thought they married a sweetheart. Someone used to see you as a sweetheart, and now they're convinced that you're not. They're convinced that you're the devil because of all these towers that they keep getting hit with. The mask, the illusion is being broken down, being burned. People are getting burned alive for doing all this spell work, casting all these spells, all this conjuring, trying to conjure your energy, trying to force you into an etheric marriage. Someone tried to bind you in another, or they did. Resolving conflict, marriage, mask. Someone could have many personalities, or they think you've got many personalities. Fright. Someone's very frightened about going to jail, about being found out. They're trapped. Someone wants to trap you. This energy is going a lot of different ways. Scapegoat. Triumph. They see you having victory. They know you're very stubborn. You're not open to them. You're not open to any of this. Maybe you've been married before. Maybe this is your marriage. Maybe you're finding out that you married a monster and you're done with them. Someone's a monster. And they can't wear the mask anymore. Or these could be public people wearing masks. Cult energy. This is a cult. A cult. Someone's an occultist. Daydream. Someone's dreaming a lot about you. Justice. They want to come back and give you justice. Convince you that they can give you the justice that you deserve. You deserve peace. Someone's convinced that they can give you a peaceful life. Someone could have lied or went around and tell other people that you were abused as a child and this is why you're staying away. This is why you wear a mask. There's some spin doctor thing going on here. You might have confided to someone that you uh, had a hard childhood or something like that and they went around. They not only told everybody else, but they also used that as your weakness to try to conjure a new contract with you, with, with, with you, with. This person thought that they could outwit you. The hell? You're an asshole. Mature woman. These people are assholes. That's my word for narcissist. Asshole. Merit making. Clarifying with your woman. Death at the bottom. Robbery. So these people curse. Homeless. Well, damn. Stress. So if this, ooh, evidence. Overload. What in the goddamn world? Hold on. <laughs> what in the goddamn world? Merit making, clarifying mature woman, which is clarifying the silver waterfall. Then we've got death, robbery, curse, homeless, stress, evidence, overload. So if you are this mature woman in your divine energy, then there is someone that's been doing magic on you to, to try to rob you of your life, to make you homeless. It didn't work, so they're very stressed. You could have evidence of these attacks. This person is overloaded. This feels like the tower to me. You got that lightning little lightning thing there. And you got this tower here with this white here. Or if this is a karmic energy, this is what's happening to them. But there's evidence. There's evidence. And if there's a there's a cult here, that does all sorts of uh, dark magic, there's evidence. It's got to do with paperwork, files. So someone could be staging a robbery to try to retrieve these files. There's something on paper, and someone's very stressed over this evidence, and it could have to do with a court situation, a marriage. Ooh, Lord. Where'd my deck go? Okay whatever like you're working on on you you got plans 
third wheel. You're nobody's third wheel. Sweet dreams. You go to bed. You sleep well because you know that you don't set your sights on other people when it comes to finding your joy. You know where to find your joy. Someone wants you homeless. They don't want you. If they can't have you, they don't want you to have anything. Yep, this is all coming under this. I think you think I don't own you. So this mature woman, you could definitely look at this two different ways. Flip that coin however it might fit. But yeah, this is someone that's been doing a lot of dirt trying to sabotage you to hurt you. And it's just resulted in chaos, right? Natural disaster, absolute chaos. Someone's absolutely very chaotic. It's their nature. So let's get a card for friendship. The arrogant cannot stand in your presence. You hate all who do wrong. Clarifying friendship. These are past friends. That you are like, you know what, I see you with this mask here. I see you and I'm done with you. You cannot be in my presence. My energy is not compatible. I find you intolerable. You find whatever this is intolerable, disgusting, you're not interested. Van life. This is landing over here. So whoever's lost a lot of their money is contemplating on living in a van. And if that's too extreme and there's someone that just wants their freedom, this could be this emperor here that is just like, you know what, I'm just going to check it all. I've had enough. I'm going to use what money I have left after this marriage or whatever this might be. If there's any money hidden from these bribes that they've taken, they're just going to get a van and try to get the hell out of Dodge. Someone could already be living in a van, living in a van, on the run, wearing mask. Okay, mask, let's get another card, mask. Ooh. Yep, trying to provoke you. Someone is trying to provoke you. This fallen angel here is trying to provoke you. So be, be mindful of whoever you're not dealing with. You could have received a message like this person's not doing well. You need to like make amends, just it's a final goodbye or whatever. But this person might have already been doing this magic. And if they could just get you in the same room, then that is their plan to drain your life force to revive themselves. Yeah. Merit making. Stay away from this person. Spouse addicted to heroin and meth. Merit making. You think I don't own you, but I do. So someone's married to someone that's got some real heavy addictions. Yep. So that really, this van life, I know it's uh, displayed as sometimes glorious and glamorous online. But in other instances, it's done out of pure necessity. So I feel like someone has really hit rock bottom and you're their last recourse at a revival. Revivalist. Someone could sing in a church. Whew, Lord. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Do not empower. Don't empower foolishness. This is... This is foolishness. Even the devil is like, ah, oh, these ain't my people. I don't know what happened. <laughs> they must have fell through too many clouds. And I don't know. But the devil ain't even claiming what this, this is a natural disaster. Yes, it is. Look, and they're stuck in it. Confinement is after natural disaster. Final messages for the collective. You, you want no parts of this. You want no parts of this. Your energy will not tolerate whatever this is. <laughs> if these, if any of these characters come toward you, it will feel like an absolute lightning bolt. You will have the urge, quite literally, to run for your life. I, I kid you not. It will be like something out of a movie. You'll feel struck. It'll hit you in the crown, 
go straight through your body and your immediate instinct is to, I gotta go. Beloved one, Archangel Chamuel, I am helping you with your spiritual soulmate <laughs> relationship. So I feel like this fallen angel is, is definitely praying to the angels to help them with you. Chakra clearing. Someone's going through some sort of chakra clearing upgrade or someone needs to clear out their chakras through meditation, uh, fasting, etc. This is Archangel Metatron. Call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So if you are feeling a little clogged up from this energy that is certainly trying to uh, drain you, then just call upon Archangel Metatron. And that's what I have, Collective. We're going to close this out because this is a kook right here, man. And they are indeed trying to provoke you. Someone's trying to provoke you. Okay, I'll see you guys soon in another video.